What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something special on hand. You see we're out here with this water, but we've got the Miss Geico 36 inch twin brushless catamaran. And I must say, I think this thing is super badass. Guys, I'm going to show you what's going on on the inside of this thing. So, we basically have the twin dynamite 1900 kV motors here as you can see and there's the other one back there and basically the uh, 120 amp dynamite ESC one ESC hooks up to each motor we got the spectrum servo as you see the cooling system how it works it goes in underneath the boat I'll show you here these holes here and there's one for each side so, so you can see on this side comes through right here through one ESC through another ESC through the motor out the top and it's pretty efficient I did run it yesterday and um, no it was no heating issues at all actually it was it was actually unbelievable how cool you see we were working with only two batteries this boat set up where you can run it with actual four batteries now the difference is when you run it with only two batteries with the parallel connector you're getting a combined voltage for 6s but your capacity your milliamp capacity is going to be only half of what the two batteries are so basically that's 3500 milliamp that's the difference it's going to be in this case 7000 milliamp it'd be 3500 milliamp with two batteries 6s is which i'm about to run now when I put four batteries in there, it'll be six S, seven thousand milliamps to each ESC and motor. Hope you I hope I got that right. Hope everybody understood that. But I think that's the case. See, it's got the dual props here. And I'm not sure which ones these are, but it looks like the pitch, it's got a pretty good pitch to them. Pretty aggressive angle. Nice, uh, looks like aluminum rudder here on the servo it's got two arms connected and they go back and forth cables are hooked up so it moves the rudder back and forth pretty efficient turn pretty good so anyway this boat i think is pretty awesome uh i did have one of these before the story is last year um i ordered one of these got it and basically had one run with it i was an idiot though and basically run it ran it with the, the four battery setup on my second run and it was rough and the boat took a pretty bad spill basically split split the tips split and the boat had fractures all on the body and um basically it was sinking we had to go get it I knew the boat was gone and Horizon of course was great with the warranty and they were gonna give me the option of a new boat but the boat was out of stock so basically I just got the refund at the time so now I'm back basically 10 months later with this new one but I'm not going for batteries yet uh, I know the hull needs to be reinforced definitely um, probably for anything over 70 miles an hour I would think but who knows at that accident I think I was doing probably 80 it was rolling but anyway if any of you guys know out there uh, what's the best way to reinforce this hull on this Geico this Miss Geico put it in the comments because I'd like to know but I'm gonna be researching it myself trying to figure it out because the goal is to get this thing to 100 miles an hour on this water right here we got definitely not enough space so that's the goal. All right, we got the GPS ready, so we're going to see what this is going to do. Uh, they say 65 miles an hour with the two battery setup, 50 to 65. So we're going to see. It's a little choppy. We're going to find out. Yeah, it's bouncy out here. Take it easy to start with. Man, that's a good looking boat. 
Seems to turn pretty good. Get pull the trigger there, so who knows? I'll come back slow. Good looking boat. Seems to have pretty good turning too. Alright, here we go. This is the speed run shot right here. You guys saw what happened there. Hopefully, the hole can take it. First big test. This kind of scary. Made it over here. Seems to be okay. All right. I didn't even have to get the rescue boat out. I was over there trying to get it out, and uh, the wind was blowing it over the shore. So you get lucky like that every now and then. Actually, I always look at that, which way the, the way the wind is blowing and uh, get to, to where, if the boat goes down, the wind will blow it in without a rescue boat. I'll tell you that, that's the number one key. All right, let's see what we got here. Hope we can see it in the camera. Stop, read, 72 miles an hour. Wow, wow, make sure we get that on there. Wow, so it flipped up at 72 miles an hour. I'm going to go ahead and run this battery out because I enjoyed that. But this may be the setup here. If it can survive a 72, 72 mile an hour crash flip up like that, I don't need four batteries. <laughs> Everything runs good. Such a good looking boat. Wonder how much battery is left. You see it's choppy out here. 72 miles an hour though. That was nice. Out of the box. Two batteries. They are 100C batteries. But in this chop. 72 miles an hour. I bet if you had some super high power batteries, you'd probably do 75. So we're gonna get a little blast off here, see how this turns out. I kind of missed it there, but let's try it again. Yeah, this thing just explodes. Look at that. Wow. Hope I'm not damaging the boat, but I think it's okay for this. I'm just barely, basically giving half throttle. It's got so much power. I'm sure this is where the 100C, the 100C batteries helps. too much fun this is awesome I hope I don't mess anything up all right one last pass probably shouldn't be doing this I'm not gonna go full true but just
I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh, just kidding, really. But my goodness, this thing is awesome. I highly recommend, guys. If the hole can take the speed, I recommend this thing. That's it, though. The batteries are shot. Ugh, look like no cracks or anything. Looks like she's good. Man, it's going to be a good summer. <laughs> i tell you what. I really miss driving this type of boat. This thing has got so much power. I can't wait to uh, to get the four batteries in it and go for 80 miles an hour again. But I got to be careful. I got to make sure that I don't do it on rough water. Just flirting with death there, for real. I know. Very hesitant, but very pleased from the result. This is a badass boat, guys. It's, it's definitely bad, especially for the price that horizon has it right now or had it and i got it discounted so i'm pretty happy with this hopefully you guys will come along with the journey and we'll see if we can get this thing to 100 miles an hour that's what i always want to do part of my thing get it to 100 miles an hour so, all right guys appreciate you watching as always don't forget to subscribe we really would appreciate that and if you liked it hit the like button and get more just like this more boat action to go along with everything else anyway all right guys peace out